a sissy like me, scene two. Seven and a half hours later, the van pulled up in front of their new house. As the family was getting out, the neighbors noticed them and came over to introduce themselves. They had a girl about Archie's age. She introduced herself as Wilda. Archie said, Hi, I'm Alexander. Nice to meet you, Wilda. Wilda said, So what grade are you in? Archie said, I am starting my freshman year of high school when school starts. When does school start anyway? For that matter what school district are we in? Wilda said, I'm going to be a freshman too. This is so cool. We live in the George Washington High School District. Classes start back in the middle of August. That is unless you go to a private school. They start back at the end of August. The only private school in the area is Madam Beauty's School for Girls and Sissies. It cost a lot of money to go to school there though. If you were a boy you could go for free. Because Madam Beauty likes to take boys and turn them into sissies. She gives every boy that attends her school some sort of discount. Most of them are there by court order anyway, so the taxpayers pay for it. Hey, maybe we would be in the same classes at school. Wouldn't that just be great? Archie replied, yeah, great. Hey, Wilda, could you tell me where the mall is? I need to buy some new clothes. Wilda said, why? You just moved here. Didn't you bring your old clothes with you? Archie said, a lot of them didn't really fit anymore. Plus some looked like they were made for little kids. Wilda said, I'll take you to the mall and we can make a day of shopping together. Archie said, actually, my mom buys all of my clothes. Archie and Wilda stood in the checkout line. While they were trying on clothes, they realized that they were the same size. So Wilda just figured she would borrow some of the new outfits from Alexander. Because Wilda wasn't buying any, the pile of clothes was rather small for two teenage girls on a shopping spree. Wilda helped pay for the outfits though, cause she was planning to wear them just as much as Alexander. The two girls paid for their clothes and left them all. Wilda's mom drove up to pick them up. They both got into the car. Wilda's mother drove them home. Archie said, so are there any cute boys around here, mainly because that was the most girly things he could say. Wilda smiled and said, well, there is this one boy. He's on vacation at the moment. But you should get to meet him before school starts back. He lives on the end of our street. He will be a sophomore this year. Apparently, all the girls at the school have a crush on him. I can't blame them. He is on the basketball team at the school. In fact he is the star of the team. It doesn't hurt much that he is hot and smart. Archie asked, what exactly do you mean hot? Just how hot is he? How smart is he? Wilda said, you'll see when you meet him. Wilda's mother pulled into the driveway of Archie's house. Archie got out and walked inside. When Archie saw his new room for the first time, he was awestruck. The room was an embodiment of all things girly. The carpet was a light pink. The walls a slightly darker pink. There was a set of lavender sheets on the bed. There was a pile of stuffed animals on the bed that Archie had never even seen before.